All right, welcome back to the Quick Speed Shop. What I got going on today is doing a 250,000 mile review on my 1998 Ford Econoline van. This is a van's 15 passenger. It's got 250,703 miles on it. I bought it with 226,000 on it. Uh, I paid a thousand dollars for it. That was about three years ago, four years ago. It was wadded up in the front and the back. I put a different front clip on it, different rear doors, different rear bumper. Uh, and other than that, it's pretty solid. Originally, it came from Florida. It's been in New York State for probably 10 years, so it's starting just starting now to rust. But it's been a good truck for hauling stuff. There's plenty of room in the back, as you'll see. It's already half full of junk, and I've, it's a good all-around vehicle. So let's go check it out. Look at all this real estate we got to work with. It's the 15 passenger extended van. Bam, here it is. A little bit of damage here, I didn't do that. Just starting to rot here. It's bubbling back there. I've got my mud, mud tires on there, 245, 75, 16 E-rated mud tires. A little step on this side, some poorly tinted windows in the back. I didn't do that either, but that's how it came. Bam, here it is. Right here in the back, this is where the magic happens. Rear doors and bumper off a 95 club wagon. Uh, bumpers off, off a 95. I got my hitch down here. It's my field office for doing business. I swapped in the flip out windows with factory Ford tinted glass. Inside where all the work happens. I've already got miscellaneous junk riding around here. I got a brush guard for my Super Duty project. I got parts of a lift I bought that I haven't put away yet. I got my trailer winch, some oil for a tractor I'm going to be changing the oil on, spare for my trailer, uh, some other junk. I do my swap meet and I load it up a junk and then I got a cot that goes in here and I unload the junk when I'm doing sand sales and I put the cot in here and hang out in here. The double up barn doors make it easy to load in and out, get the seats out, come right out. Uh, I got a cable broke on my door latch here, that's why the door panel's off. That's the one downside about these vans, they have cables running the latches and they get stretched out and the ends break and then you, your doors don't open. So I'm working on that. But this is also the side entrance to where the magic happens. At the swap meet, you can open the doors, you put up a little canopy, you can hang out here, you got a seat. It's easy to sit here and do stuff. Here on the inside, got your uh, standard seat. I put this cubby in, it's got extra cup holders. This van doesn't just had a flat one originally. I like this as the older style one. I swapped in the driver's side seat with an armrest so I can roll in style and I make my passengers ride and they just gotta hold their arm up. But I gotta be in style so I got an armrest on this side. But pretty easy layout. The dash is filthy because I didn't clean it before this, but that's alright. So let's take a look under the hood. Aha! kind of tight to see but packed in here down under there is a 5.4 liter two valve uh, Triton V8 engine everything's kind of compact battery over here your different fluids and whatnot but uh, I can tell you by experience with my other van it takes about four hours to put spark plugs in this and just about everything else is hard to reach at even when you take the dog house up, dog house off it so there it is under the hood dirty as well but I haven't had any mechanical issues with this thing whatsoever, engine-wise or transmission-wise. It runs like a top, and it pulls good. So here's the inside of the van. It's filthy, don't mind that. I'm not good at cleaning things. We got your wheel, I set nice. I got my arm rust, like I said. Got my electric brake controller down here. I got the gauges. Everything's within reach. You can put your cell phone here in the pocket. You can carry a drink. Actually, you can put four drinks in here all the way around. Great for road tripping. Lots of visibility out the windshield. Let's go ahead and see how it fires up. That's nice. Get your radio.
Don't tell Joan Jett that we used her music in this video. We'll be all set. So let's go try it out. boot it from a stop and see how it does and we'll hit the brakes. Ready? Here we go. So this van is a collect conglomeration of about four different vans, but I love these things. I've had four of them, uh, two on the road and two for parts, and they work good. For, they ride good, they tow good, they go in the snow good, they got plenty of room, okay power, um, they leg out ergonomically well. I love driving them. I love these. These are better than a Chevy or a Dodge in my opinion. I love these things. I think they're great. They handle good. They're easy to work on. They're rugged. I've had 3,500 pounds worth of uh, concrete bags in the back of my other van. You can put 16 foot lumber in here. You know, only hangs out the back door about that far on the extended wheelbase or the extended van, the 15 passenger van. But I, uh, I love these things. I wish Ford hadn't killed them. I mean, they made them for this body style from '92 all the way up to 2000, and I think. 14. So these are the best vans Ford ever made. I'm an Econoline guy all the way. They can keep their T-Series European crap vans. I want a good American made E-Series. E-Series all the way, baby. That's what I say. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And we'll see you again at the Quick Speed Shop. Here comes some train tracks here. You get a lot of clanging and banging because you got the open van. It's not like a pickup where you got the sound, you know, separate out the back of the truck here. But I like tone of this rig. The, the van weighs 6,000 pounds almost, and uh, it's real nice to have a heavy tow rig when you're towing something on a trailer. It uh, makes it so the trailer doesn't want to wag the dog. You know, the tail doesn't wag the dog. The, the truck's so heavy that it uh, it rides nice and tows nice. So we'll get out here on the open road and I'll kick it down here in a second when it turns down to 55. With this 5.4, you know, like it says, 230 horsepower. Not a lot of power at all compared to today's standards. But if you're not in a hurry, it's all right. Getting up to speed now. I mean, I was going 30. Now I'm pulling up to about 55 right here. So that wasn't that. That wasn't that bad. The trailer's empty, but it still weighs 2,000 pounds. You know, got the overdrive off. I'm just in third gear. No lockup converter. I always like to tow uh, with the overdrive off. Uh, some of the new vehicles might not have to, but these older uh, transmissions. 
stations and these Fords. Uh, I think it's a 4R 70W or whatever they call it. Um, I was just like to tow them in, in third gear with the overdrive off. But it works working good. We're hauling down the road to 60 miles an hour. Take my hand off the wheel. I had a, I put a front end kit in this last year. I put all the four ball joints in it, and then I had it lined up, and they put a camber adjustment kit in it, and it works good. So we'll continue on. <laughs> 